is sugarpearlsonline.com, YouTube is Sugar Pearls, and Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. Again, go ahead and share, 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 so your friends can be with my friends. You know, be friends. Yay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to melt tonight. We're going to do, um, the nieces gave me this wonderful idea. We were supposed to get together to go like food truck hopping. Anyway, one of the nieces was like mad late, so we didn't make it. All right, no big deal, but I really wanted to experience, you know, the food trucks. Well, we didn't do that. Got some great seafood, went back to the house, ate, chilled out, had way too much laughter. Then, um, I said, what you gonna cook for the show on Friday? I said, I have no freaking idea. I need help. So I often like, even if I don't like, no, like hard no where what I'm gonna do. Um, I want like inspiration from all sorts of things. So they were telling me about this one food truck that does a shrimp melt. <sighs> now I've made a shrimp melt before, but this time I decided to really like be intentional about this shrimp melt for you tonight. So we going this is gonna be like a, a real grown up sort of melt okay now let me say y'all know y'all know i'm trying to cut down on like heavy meats and stuff red meat pork all that i'm trying to cut down every now and then i'm saying yeah i'm gonna have a rib all right but um i'm gonna be eating a lot of seafood and just veggies okay so um we're gonna do this tonight now you don't have to use shrimp all right and if you are lactose intolerant you can use like a diet cheese or something like that and just because it does need to have a, a really creamy consistency for what we're gonna do tonight all right all right um hey mommy hey everybody welcome to the show go ahead and click share right now um let's get cooking good looking are you ready come on over to my stove let me bring you in um hey yeah i went like all like full wakanda tonight i don't know that's why i wanted to keep my ball head out and not cover it up with the weed sometimes you just want that freedom here you know mm -hmm. yes. all right so we're gonna get started so we got our veggies i can get in front of the stove come on okay we've got um our veggies that are go, gonna go inside the milk. Now, if you can do like a chicken milk, tuna milk, um, any kind of seafood milk, it is up to you, all right? So if, if you're doing this dish um, anytime soon, you can substitute the protein with, you know, whatever you want. I just <laughs> love, love, love white shrimp so we're gonna saute that down with some veggies and then we're gonna add our um creaminess to it and we're gonna have it on some nice crusty artisan bread that we're gonna put on our little flat top that you can't see is behind you and um we we're gonna be eating good in the neighborhood how about that yes 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 yay <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, I hope you guys are well. Uh, okay, so I wash this. So I got some. What I'm gonna put in my melt um, is some garlic, a few green onions. I want some some color in it because it it can look a little. I need a different knife for that cheese knife. Ugh, now I can't use it again for the cheese. All right. Let's get that piece off of there. So let's get some, uh, just a few little onions. And all of this is going to be softened. So we're going to get it in our skillet. Uh, saute, soften. Okay. I'm not necessarily trying to brown these veggies. Now, what I did do, I'll show this to you in just a second. Let me get some of this. There we go. Have a sharp knife, honey. 
My dad said he hates seeing me use a knife. Thinks I'm going to lose a finger or something. And I might. But there's no need to fear. Because you're making me nervous. Alright, so we got our green onions. We're going to get some garlic. Just kind of rough chop. Because it's going to soften also. You don't have to do this. Add whatever veggies you want to your milk. Or you don't have to add any veggies at all. Okay? This is um as grown up as you want it to be. Or not. If you're doing it for the family and maybe everybody is making their own um, milk style. This is, this is something everybody can do. You know, and we want the sauce, the, um, the, the sauce, yeah, it's a sauce, yeah, um, to be on the, the really creamy side, almost like a fondue, so that'll be between our artisan slices, and, ugh, I just snorted, yeah, it's great, all right, so, we got our onions and our garlic, we're gonna push that to the side, I put some, um, look at what I did. I put some, um, red pepper. I wanted some color in mine, all right? So I got a little bit of red pepper. I put it on my griddle and with just a little sprinkle of salt and just went both sides with it. And now I'm just gonna slice away, um, just, just for some added color. This, this is my grown-up milk. You don't have to do this. <laughs> How you doing, boo? Gosh, I miss you. I know, it's only been a week. It has only been a week. Now, for our sauce, the melty part of this shrimp melt, um, we're gonna, you wanna use a good cheese, y'all. A good cheese. So I've got some Havarti cheese. Um, and when I tell you, Havarti is so, it still gives you that little slight bite in your cheek, but it's just so creamy. It just melts on your tongue. So we're going to use Havarti for our cheese. We're going to top the milk with some provolone and honey, grown up, all the way grown, melt. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, I want to share a story. I'm going to share two stories with you tonight. All right. I'm going to have a little salad with this also. I, you know, I don't eat a lot of bread. Um, but this milk just kind of, it feels comforting and something still kind of simple about it, you know? It's not complicated. Uh... Like I said, you can do this with chicken, uh, whatever, whatever you want. But I'm going to do some peppers, some green onions, and garlic. Okay. <laughs> hey now, um, you're not much of a friend if you're not sharing this video right now. Yeah, go ahead and click share. Then come on back and hang out. Mm-hmm. Let's Friday and chill. Okay, I got that hot. Uh, the website is sugarpearlsonline.com. The YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. So, yeah, just let folks know, hey, it's my therapy. So, I'm going to be here with y'all show up. <laughs> All right, I just <laughs> thank you for the hearts and the love. <laughs> um, the YouTube channel is Sugar Pearls. Now, the sugar and the pearls are together. It's a capital S and a capital P apostrophe. Yes, that's it. All right, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And the Instagram page is Sugar Pearls underscore online. All right, let's get cooking. Like, for real, for real. So, I got a little provolone. I've got some peppers and onions and garlic and my Havarti cheese. So, yeah, H-A-V-A-R-T-I, okay? 
Mm. Let's get them uh, the veggies softened in our little skillet, and then we can get started on our salad. It's gonna be a real rustic, simple meal. Okay. Ain't nothing intimidating about this. It's a it's a salad and a sandwich. Okay, so don't trip. Don't trip at all. Easy on you. Okay. So I got some coconut oil here. So I'm just gonna use just a tiny little teaspoon to coat the pan, get the veggies in there. I think I'm gonna do the bread when I because I'm gonna toast both sides of that bread. Some people are kind of funny, like they only like the top side toasted. That's totally fine. Um, but I want to do the inside inside and the outside because with this sauce, I want it to like go into every nook and cranny of the sandwich. Okay. Hi Antonio. Hey cousin. <laughs> All of my friends and family, and, and we started out with Mississippi Pride this uh, this fine evening um, for all of my Stillmanites from this, uh, uh, thank you for tuning in. That support means everything. It really, really does. So, thanks for being here. So, I got the pan coated with the little coconut oil. And to that, we're just going to add our, I'm going to add the pepper last, okay, because I softened them already on that griddle, remember? Okay, so let's just do a little garlic and onion. Oh, I'm sorry I'm missing y'all. Oh, <laughs> hi Willie. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you about, um... My friend Willie and his gorgeous wife Angel. Uh, he did this, I guess, the seven day uh, love my spouse challenge. When I tell you, like, honey, I may be single and I ain't looking, but I love me some black love. I just do. So I'm like every day looking forward to the next picture and just swooning, swooning. Y'all are just a sexy looking couple. I tell you, y'all look like Don Cheadle and his wife. I say it all the time. I know famous people. <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> I love you guys. Hi, Nita. Boy, Silver is checking in. Thank you guys. Um, make sure you share, you know, this page. I, I try to keep most things like I I don't like share all of my life on Facebook um, but things I don't mind getting public it's pretty public so you know you can share and they can just come right here child and and see the beautiful mess that I make in this darn kitchen when I'm doing it yes <laughs> Woo! all right so I'm also gonna add to that I forgot about my basil I had to buy some more basil because I used up all that I had at my window, remember? So I've got some beautiful uh, little basil leaves that I just clipped and just kind of wiped um, from the ends so that they could continue to grow. Um, but I want, I want some of that green. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to add my pepper. This uh, ain't your mama's shrimp milk or tuna milk or chicken milk, okay? <laughs> Is what, or, or, um, if you are a fan, now let me tell you, when the winter comes, I'm going to give me some oxtails from the meat market. I am. Yes, yeah, so that's why I'm like, you know, I'm holding off and trying to do the right things because I know that every now and then I would like to indulge. Okay, so I'm gonna get the oxtails later in the winter. I know that's right up Willie's alley. <laughs> he loves some oxtails. But um yeah, I'm just 
Yeah. Okay, so that's that's our little trinity thing going on right there. We got our peppers, our onions, our fresh basil from the window. We're just going to leave this on low for a minute while I grab the shrimp out of the fridge. I already um, de-veined and cleaned. It's a nice, easy, peel and eat shrimp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Octavius. Yes, yes. I got you. Now, that's a recipe. Um, I know the way me and my brother do it. Um, it takes time. So, that's not necessarily a recipe that I'll do on a Sugar Pearl show because it does take time to just do. And I don't want to put it in no doggone Instapot or pressure cooker or nothing like that. You know, you can. That's great. But I just love, especially in the winter, um, just that slow, low, hearty eating. It just brings about so much nostalgia uh, for me. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be stewing my oxtails nice and long. All right, so you're just going to have to look out for another video, boo. <laughs> Speaking of video, you better share this one right now. Let's get our little salad together. I'm going to scoot uh, this out. Zivi. Let's see. Actually, I can put it right here. Cover that up. This coconut oil. And it's good because I keep it kind of cold uh, in my place anyway, in the studio. Um, one, so my makeup don't melt. Black girl problems. Um, and two, you know, I've got some kombucha up there. And you don't want it too hot in the house when you got like kombucha and all that stuff. To this, we're going to add... <laughs> We're going to add the shrimp, all right? So let me, I already seasoned, seasoned the shrimp with some pink salt, some lemon juice, some, some of that seafood seasoning that I got from Hunter's, and a splash of ponzu, the, um, the citrus seasoning. It's an Asian citrus, so just a splash of ponzu, and that just helps everything to just kind of retain its brightness because although this is um a very creamy <laughs> dish we still want the shrimp to you know hold on you know hold us on okay so not too heavy on the seasoning we want to make sure that everything marries well Alrighty, let me grab that you watch that stove okay I only got a pound. It's just me. Um, dump them on in there. Your veggies are done. You just need to cook this until it's just pink. And then we're going to start to build our sauce around that. Okay? I'm not going to add any more salt. Salt, everything that the uh, shrimp was marinated in is just fine. I probably could have diced that up a little bit. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that in the pan right now. Okay. Hey, uh, let's do that. Let's turn the turn that back up. Um, it's, it should have sizzled and it didn't because I forgot I had it down. And let's just slice some of that up. I I want it chunky, <laughs> okay? But I want um. I don't want it so chunky that the chunks are falling out of the sandwich. So you want to keep very bite-sized pieces. Turn this all the way up because it needs to cook kind of fast. All right, so do as I say, not as I just did. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to make it work. Uh, let's get some cuts in there. I'm leaving some of them intact, but for the most part, I just want to break it down a little bit to keep those bites manageable. All right. Um, you want to do a simpler version of this for the kids while they're homeschooling, uh, doing remote learning, and um, this 
this could be something that the entire family would enjoy. Like I said, you, you've got variations of this. So you could do, um, somebody that doesn't eat shellfish, make sure you're not cross-contaminating. But you could do like a shellfish, a chicken, a, like I said, a chip beef. Um, this is it's kind of like, you know, sexy daily food, the way I'm doing it. <laughs> Say, I need, I need to coin that phrase. <laughs> sexy daily. Sexy daily. Ooh. Uh-uh. Don't you do that. Uh-uh. That's mine. I got to do something with that, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now um, the shrimp is starting to turn. Let me let you in on it just a little bit more. Hey, hi, Tommy. Hey, everybody. If you are just coming on and I haven't looked up to check um, my screen, um, my apologies up front, okay? Thank you for coming on. I see you. Uh, I'm just deep in the shrimp recipe right now, Chad. Okay. All right. We're doing our shrimp melt. So now I'm going to add a couple of elements to this. So I've got some Havarti cheese that I have sliced. I'm going to slice some more. People definitely have their ways of doing, you know, their own melts and everything. So, mm. um, there you go. In case I need for you to watch it for me. Mmm. <laughs> Cheese is starting to melt inside. When it melts completely, you can add just a touch of liquid. You can do a broth or stock or something like that. Um, because this is my grown up shrimp melt, I'm going to add a splash of white wine just to make sure that cheese is melted and we get a nice creaminess to it. And then, and one final thing, okay? Hold, hold that down. Mm. Yes, yes. All right. Um, that Havarti cheese. Hey, Kay. <laughs> that Havarti cheese, like I said, um, it almost reminds you the flavor anyway reminds you almost of a like a sharp cheddar or something like that but like a mild not super sharp and it gives you like a little tingle right there and then the cheese itself just melts on your tongue it's so smooth this cheese is almost fully melted we're just gonna like mush it down a little bit on in there okay we're going to add a little more cheese. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to come together. You just got to take time to really let that cheese melt. Not doing super thick chunks, but one of... Excuse me. Mm, one of the slices I had was kind of thick, so... Oh, it took a little bit to break down. <laughs> All right. You can determine when you do this uh, how much um, creaminess you would like to add um, to the dish. Um, I'm going to turn this off now. Just for a minute. It's still hot and it's, I need for it to melt that little bit of cheese down. In there, as a matter of fact, leave it on, leave it on, leave it on medium because the next part is completely optional. But I add, you can add more cheese, that's fine. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of 
sour cream. No, cream cheese, I'm sorry. <laughs> cream cheese, okay. I'm gonna add small amounts at a time because it's going to, thank you Detrit, it's going to melt and I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to curdle, okay? So we want to keep a nice, creamy, silky melt. And we still haven't added our liquid yet, okay? It's coming. It's coming. Keep mixing. Honey. Okay. Y'all, <laughs> you, you know I haven't done this in a while. I'm sorry, this was the one thing I wanted to tell you. Um, one, of, one of my two stories I got for you tonight. So a man asked me for my phone number today at the grocery store. Well, outside, outside of the grocery store. Okay. I know. I, I I had to grapple with it. He was very witty, very charming, very nice. Um, his name was, I won't say his name. Um, but yeah, I had just finished. Hey, hey, Travis. Hey, Keisha. Hey, y'all. So this, this is one of my stories for today. Um, strange man asked me for my phone number as I was loading up my car at the grocery store and uh, 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 I, I was so shocked I was about to get in the car and he said hey hey what you cooking tonight and I was like I'm looking I'm like he's talking to me like do I know him his voice sounded familiar but it was just weird just weird he was he was really nice like I said very charming very nice guy hey Lisa um anyway he asked me for my phone number Jeff. and he said I just I mean he asked all the questions first are you married do you have a boyfriend you know I would never admit to having a boyfriend but anyway, he asked. He, he did all the right things. And then he asked me for my number. He said, what? I said, do you always um, pull up on strange women asking them what they cooking for dinner? What, what if I couldn't cook? What if I was just picking up something for, for my lover? You know? You know? And, and he just laughed at me. You know, because I, I just found it a little awkward because I'm not used to that. And I just made it weird. And um, <laughs> I did. And he was like, oh, he's like, you're not used to um, um, men asking you that? I was like, no, I'm not. So he was like, well, man, I just wanted to know. He was like, is it worth my time to even ask you if we can keep in touch? And I'm like, hmm. Nice, nice looking man. I mean, from what I could tell, I mean, he had the mask on because I told him he couldn't come over to my car and talk to me. He ain't got no mask on, honey. So he, you know, had his mask on. And from here up, he was very handsome, very attractive, tall man. Yes. So he asked me for my number and I said, well... I guess I could yeah so I started giving him my number and then I stopped and he said what is it I said you're gonna have to figure the other two out I said if I'm worth your time then you'll figure it out so that's how I left it I know I'm a mess a whole mess honey I'm gonna add a little provolone this man asked me for my number and I gave him all of them except the last two digits. 
I don't know. I, I just don't know how I feel about that right now. I don't, I don't know. I ain't with this foolishness, child. I'm just not. I'm a whole grown woman. And I just, mm, mm -mm. you ain't got time. If you ain't got the energy and, and the capacity to try and figure it out, try to woo me, then keep moving because I ain't got time. I just don't. When I tell you, we have a delicious, cheesy sauce that's going to be delicious in our meal. I did all that talking and told you all the story. And ain't put no slice of bread on the griddle. Not one slice. We're going to fix that right now. All right, let's turn the shrimp down. Just watch it. Let me get the, uh, where my lid at? <clears throat> Child. yeah i just i don't know i think i'm i'm enjoying oh lord they ashley ashley hush yeah it was just what that was lame ashley. <laughs> i mean i got stuff to do i got I got goals to pursue. I don't have time for no foolishness. And I don't know. I'm, maybe I missed out on something. Maybe not. Child. If, if he the one, then I'll, I'll see him again. But who ain't pressed? <laughs> not pressed at all. Because I know what I got going on. All right. Oh, ooh. So I wanted to use this really sturdy artisan bread. Um, see, it's dusted with a little flour and everything, honey. But it will really hold up with all of this sauce and the shrimp and everything, child. So we are gonna put a little. Let's get a little coconut, co coconut, coconut oil. On the griddle over there. I ain't even going to like, you know how to do this. So, just put it on there. Oh. Um, yeah, so that that's my single life story for today, honey. I thought I was flattered, though. I'm like, oh, um, a man asked me for my phone number. That was... I didn't, I didn't know if I should be flattered or what. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Okay. Because I've been... I'm, I don't know. I ain't on it right now. What can happen the next time, child? Mm-hmm. Same goes for you. Yeah, take your time. You know, I spent the better part of, you know, my life worrying about, you know, what other folks thought about it and doing things um, that I thought were making other people happy when really I was just making myself miserable. I don't have time. Mm-mm. No, I'm on the other side of that right now. I ain't got the time to do it, okay? So keep that lesson. It's free, all right? But you, um... Stay focused. Stay focused. I ain't saying you can, you know, have a little fun, child. But <laughs> if it's going to distract you, it ain't worth it. Especially when you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. So, mm -mm. if it's something that, that wouldn't lend itself to contributing to your goals... Why? Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. I ain't I ain't got all of Mr. Miyagi's secrets, honey. But one thing I'm learning, you can't please nobody. Some of y'all can't please yourself. 
I ain't judging. I was there. All right. But I'm just saying. Life is too short to be wasting time, energy, losing sleep. Uh -uh. I ain't with it. Honey, I'm so glad you're here. Did you share this show? You should. You should right now. Go ahead, click share. Come back, y'all. It is another Friday night. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. And um, you here in my kitchen with me. Thank you. <laughs> the website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. All right. <laughs> okay. So this is good. I can actually, I'm going to pull this off the heat right now because now I just wanted to you know cool off a little bit so I could put it in the milk <laughs> and um, we want all of that cheese and everything now to just kind of come together in mm, my goodness something mm. Fantastic. Oh, it's a meal fit for a little bougie country queen like me. <laughs> yes, it is. So you should do it. Uh, do the melts, honey. That's something easy. You ain't got to be pulling out all this stuff. Throwing out all this meat, child. <laughs> Do you a melt? I think that you probably owe yourself that. You know? I'm going to turn this off now. Ooh. That bread. My goodness. salad let's get a salad i don't even have to add wine to this i'm not gonna add wine okay i'm this is this is enough i'm not gonna add no wine i'm good i don't have to add wine child okay let's cut some of this up some of the uh salad greens and get, ooh, honey, I gotta remind me, somebody remind me. I've got a, I'm gonna put a piece of provolone cheese on top of the toasted bread. I toasted both sides. You don't have to, toast it how you like it, but I wanted it on both sides. Okay, okay. Let's put this out of the way. So to this, I'm just going to add, um, no, I'm not going to add anything. Now I'm just going to do the salad. Oh, yeah. Rough chopping. You know, I love some red and green salad. Get it on in there. I can put the rest of my little veggies in there, too. I'm going to just slice up the pepper. Have a little... Roasted pepper inside. I love colors. I love it. Okay. Let's get some of those onions in there. Let's just clean off the whole darn cutting board. Okay. Are you cool with that? Oh, they need sharpening. I can tell. The tip of these is, um, of this knife is kind of, yeah, dull. All right, to my little salad, I'm going to have some, I love some Kalamata olives. And I'm going to do some artichoke, um, some marinated artichoke. Is that all right with you? Oh, yeah. 
Ooh. And it's going to be so simple and free. Like, we're not doing the most with this, okay? Let's get a few olives tossed in. Some artichoke heart. Oh, y'all, when I tell you, I am, I feel, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yes, I know, that's it, that's it, all we're going to do is a little bit of seasoned oil and a little balsamic vinegar, that's it, that's, child, we ain't got time. I told you, life is precious. We don't have time to be trying to figure out how this wheel is supposed to turn. Just, ba bam do that. Keep it simple. Let's go ahead and add. I know. You like when I fuss at you, don't you? Yeah, you do. Because you be home, child, trying to rack your brain, figuring it out. Be, do something simple. You ain't. You can overthink some things, you know. Oh, Lord. I want that sauce thicker, though. I want it thicker. What I think I'm going to do is, after y'all go home, <laughs> like you, so um, I'm going to cook that down some more until it's nice and thick. I should have done that at the beginning, but that's all right. Let's load this baby up right here. It's so pretty with the red and the green. And because we didn't cook it to death, everything still has a beautiful color. All right. Can, I'm, I'm going to do one more. I got one slice of provolone cheese there. I'm going to do another one on top. I know. It's my meal. It's my meal. Where my cheese? With it, with it, mm, uh, eh, eh, eh. I can't find the cheese. I can't find the cheese. Cheese. I can't find the cheese. Cheese. Child. Oh, yeah, it is. I had it where I don't normally put it. That's why I couldn't find it. So when I put it back, I'm going to put it where it's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> this is going back on the griddle. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Let's put it back on for a couple minutes. I still got a little bit of, um, honey, when I tell you this thing, I got a little, I'm going to just, we, mm, 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 mm. Grown folk milk. Mm-hmm. Sexy diner milk. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Honey, trip your family out by taking your salad plate and putting it in the freezer before you put the salad on it, child. When I tell you that they're just going to love you for it. You thought enough of me to chill my plate so my salad wouldn't get cold, uh, get, wouldn't get warm and wilt. Plate in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Let's get some salad on it. Let's get some salad on it. Get some salad on it. Get some salad on it. Why I'm making them songs, child. Um, I can't find my salad tongs, but that's okay. It don't even matter, child. I'll be grabbing with my hand to get this goodness. You better work up, sis. Not like a good cold plate for your salad. Let's go ahead and flip this milk. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Boom. Okay, 
I did one side. I just flipped it. And uh, we'll turn all of that up. Get it on the plate. Watch that for me. Let me get a clean plate for the Sammy. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of particular about this stove action chair. I'm going to cook that down. No, no, I'll cook it after the show. All right. Let's get this. Yes. Get off. You ready to eat, boo? Huh? Are you? Let's eat. All right. Get out the way. Baby, hey, I know. I'm I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to fall in love. No, let me not say that. Not that's that's why old buddy ain't get the last two digits of my number. Yeah. What if he, what if he end up calling me? What I'm going to do then? What I'm going to say, I didn't really mean for you to, I was just, you know how many combinations it is. I've never thought you'd get it. That's why I did that. All right. With a serrated knife, let's go ahead and cut so that we keep this. Oh my gosh. When I tell you the cheese that's pouring out the sides of this, y'all, we done came on the show and made a doggone grilled cheese sandwich with some shrimp in it. <gasps> boo boo! <laughs> hey, tell me, you know you want sugar pros in your life, honey. Get the sugar, okay, okay. All right, let's thank the Lord for the food. Um, honey, this. Mm. Thank my friends for showing up, Lord. They don't have to, but they always do. Why do they keep coming back? I'm not going to ask too many times. I'm just glad that they do. Thank you, Lord. Yay! Let's do it. Okay. Here is our melt. Your melt is whatever you want. Let me, let me just let you get some of this action, boo. What? I know it's hard it's hard to focus I know that look at that look how pretty it is on hi mm, 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 mm. okay I need to hurry up for I act real ignorant and get off this live tonight, child. Honey. The melt to end all melts. Grown folks style. Don't worry about it. it, it the crew will clean it up. Let's, let's get into this some more. Mm, mm. Did you see the cheese pull? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm. I know I'm supposed to eat the salad first, but... Cha. Mm. Mm. Food truck. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I decided. 
while I was on the second bag, that the second story I have for you, honey, that gonna have to keep until next week, child. I need to finish eating, okay? So we'll. Amen, brother. I'll tell you my second story next week. Honey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you are sharing the videos with friends and families and even people that you don't like. Doesn't matter. Send them on my way. Mm -hmm. Send them my way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Make it. Um, YouTube subscription at Sugar Pearls, Instagram at Sugar Pearls underscore online, y'all. Mm. The artichoke hearts were kind of marinated in the um thing, so they got like their own little flavor pop after you cut the ball. Mm. 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 Child, I'm about to finish eating and go back and listen to some M. I. Krilla, Krilla, I. Krilla, Krilla, and I. Humpback, Humpback, I. This is stupid. Fry, fry! Shout out to my Stillman little brother, Blue Kimball, making his appearance. In P Valley, you go, brother. Keep up the great work. Stay motivated, stay energized, stay enthused. Y'all, that is my message for you, too. Stay motivated, and as long as you're grow going through, honey, you you'll eventually get there. Just keep going. Keep going. Hey, I gotta run, but remember, I love you. And I hope you love me back. Bit of you.